Hello and welcome back to Rob's Homemade and it's Christmas time, mistletoe and wine Anyway, we're here for a food review, well specifically a cheese review Who doesn't like cheese? Christmas day night, Boxing day night, sat in front of the telly watching all the old films, the Christmas stuff with a nice big cheese board, pickled onions, relishes, chutneys, cheeses, all different flavours and this time of year, every single supermarket brings out different flavours of cheese. Whether it's got dates in it, whether it's got whiskey in it. This one, I picked up from, we all know where I picked it up from. you got a choice, because I've been shopping at two at the moment. But yes, it's my personal favourite. All these specially selected Red Leicester with Habanero Chili. I'm a sucker with it for anything that contains chilli. Oh. By now, if you've been watching me long enough, you should know what I'm like. I'll see anything I'm posting on Facebook, I'll go and buy it. I'll, I went to the Chilli Fest, spent a fortune. And I've seen this on the shelf in Aldi. And I had to get it. I just had to get it. It's got a two chilli rating. Because that's what it says. But let's go quickly run through the ingredients. Red Leicester cheese, 99%, which is always good. Milk, dried red peppers, 0.5%. Dried green peppers, 0.5%. Habanero chili powder. So once again, these supermarkets are not using the proper chilies in their products and using powders or sauces. Obviously the dried peppers, I've cracked this open. I'll just show you. Obviously the dried peppers are to give it the colour and the dots are little peppers. So I'm gonna give we're gonna take a nice big chunk because I do love my cheese. I'll be perfectly honest. I'm a cheese a holly. So I've got a nice big stick. See the peppers running through it, but the money green and red peppers, so there's gonna be no heat there. So it just be, depends on the content of the chilli powder, so red Leicester though, to be fair these a beautiful, beautiful cheese it's a nice cheese cracker a pickled onion or something like that mixed on it. Bit of cranberry chutney. Oh man. Christmas is going to be good. I can't wait. What? There's no heat at all. To be honest, I wasn't expecting a lot of heat. Really being a habanero anyway, I'm really expecting a massive blast of heat, <clears throat> but there's not even tiny bit zero again. But I'd still buy it because it's a beautiful cheese. It is very very tasty and well made, smooth. It's creamy. You can taste the pepper in there through the dry peppers and the red and the green so you get a little crunch when you do get a bit of that pepper and it's nice very very nice indeed but like I said zero of eight. I wish they'd make a Carolina Reaper one using proper Reapers but you never know one day it might happen but that was my review of Aldi's specially selected Red Leicester with Habanero chili heat rating zero Flavour and taste rating, well up there with a nine. Fantastic tasting Red Leicester, beautiful cheese. So thank you very much for, much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. Go and buy some of this, it, it is a lovely cheese, don't get me wrong. If, if you like more heat in your cheese, it's probably not for you, but taste wise it's fantastic. So thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all again very soon for more reviews, challenges, videos from me, videos from Indian Rob, and we'll be back 
very, very soon. So enjoy your day, whatever you're up to, and peace!